we're asked to convert pi radians and negative pi over 3 radians to degrees. So the first question I'll ask you, if you do one revolution, if you have an angle that went all the way around once, how many radians is that? Well, we know that that is 2 pi, 2 pi radians. Now, that exact same angle, if we were to measure it in degrees, how many degrees is that? Well, you've heard of people doing a 360, doing one full revolution. That is equal to 360 degrees. Now, can we simplify this? It's important to write this little, little superscript circle. That's literally the units under question. Sometimes it doesn't look like a unit, but it is a unit. You could literally write degrees instead of that little symbol. And the units right here, of course, are the word radians. Now, can we simplify this a little bit? Well, sure, both 2 pi and 360 are divisible by 2. So let's divide things by 2. And if we do that, what do we get for what pi radians are equal to? Well, on the left-hand side here, we're just left with pi radians. Pi radians. And on the right-hand side here, 360 divided by 2 is 180. And we have still the units, which are degrees. So we get pi radians are equal to 180 degrees, which actually answered the first part of our question. We wanted to convert pi radians. Well, we just figured out pi radians are equal to 100, 180 degrees. Pi radians are equal to 180 degrees. And if you want to think about it, we know pi radians are halfway around a circle, halfway around a circle like that. Oh, and that's the same thing as 180 degrees. So now let's think about the second part of it. We want to convert negative pi over 3 radians. Let me do this in a new color. Negative pi over 3. So negative pi over 3 radians. How can we convert that to degrees? What do we get based on this information right over here? Well, to figure this out, we need to know how many, how many degrees there are per radian. If we need to multiply this times degrees, and I'm going to write the word out because if I just wrote a little circle here, it'd be, it, you wouldn't really, it'd be hard to visualize that as a unit. Degrees per, degrees per radian. So how many degrees are there per radian? Well, we know that for every 180 degrees, for every 180 degrees, we have pi radians. We have pi radians. Or you could say that there are 180 over pi degrees per radian. And this is going to work out. We have however many radians we have times the number of degrees per radian. So of course, the units are going to work out. Radians cancel out. The pi also cancels out. The pi also cancels out. And 180, so you're left with negative 180 divided by 3, leaving us with, what is that? Negative 60. Negative 60, and we don't want to forget the units. We could write them out. That's the only units that's left. Degrees, which we could write out. We could write out the word degrees, or we could just put that little symbol there.